Hey guys, welcome back to my Minecraft Security Wish tutorials, and we are now on part two of the atrium. And I, I really hate to say this, but this is the final episode that I will be doing of the main atrium. This is the last episode, and when I say this is the last episode, this is not a joke. I am being one. I'm being dead serious about this. This is the last episode of my Security Wish tutorials. Everything will be ending today in this episode. Um, I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions. I'm sure that you guys are very confused. I'm sure that some of you don't even won't don't even believe this right now. But you're you're gonna have to, alright? I'm serious when I say this. I will be having a video that is gonna be out a couple days after this one, explaining everything on why I will not be continuing and why I will not be continuing any of my security reach tutorials. And it will explain everything on what's going to be happening in the future, on what's currently happening now. Mainly the reason I'm stopping, this is like, just to shorten it up, just kind of quickly. Hi, I'm going into high school in the next few days, and it's very stressful to actually make these tutorials, videos in general too. But don't worry, the, the, the video in the next couple days will be explaining everything on what's happening and on why I will not be continuing. But without further ado, let's just not, let's not worry about that right now. And let's actually finish the outlining for the atrium in this video. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. So you're going to go ahead and make your way on the top right corner of the atrium, right by the show stage over here. We're going to start by on Monty Golf and start outlining the actual inside area for it. So go ahead and grab your green concrete and we're going to place two green concrete blocks on the polished and site. Same thing right there. And then we are going to go ahead and we are going to add... I believe we're going to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just like that. Then we're going to come up one more and two to the corner like that. So this is still, this is eight blocks in total from this block to this block, this block. This is eight blocks in total. We just added seven. Now on this block, we're going to go ahead and we are going to add 16, no, sorry, 27 extra green concrete. So it's going to be 28 blocks in all. Starting from here, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Wait. No, we add 27, sorry. So, there we go. Wait, no. My bad, my bad. Why am I lagging? Alright, 28 blocks. So, from this block all the way to this block here okay i don't know if you guys can see that but i'm sorry that if i'm lagging a bit for you guys on my screen so from that block to this block that is 28 blocks of green concrete we're then going to come up one more into the corner right here and we're going to add six extra blocks so seven in total so starting from here this is one two three four five six seven then with your light gray concrete we are going to place one light gray now we're going to make the elevator that goes to monte golf so we are going to place one two three green one two one two one two three and then one two three four five on top and then we're going to go ahead and bring this up until it comes to there we're going to go ahead and skip two blocks and place a green concrete so one two three again one two one two one two three and just connect that so it should look like this go ahead and put your light outline or grab your light gray concrete and out put it all the way around the green concrete just like that then with your polished end in sight, we're going to place two polished end in sight on the inside just like this, going all the way around the elevator with two sea lanterns right there, so it should look like this. Now with your purple concrete, we're going to place purple concrete coming all the way around, just like that. And then your polished diorite for the elevator door should look like this. And your warped buttons, we're going to place these all here. There is no little pattern like for the atrium elevator. But for the Monty Golf, it's just warped buttons that we're going to use. Now with your green concrete, we're going to place 17 green concrete, starting from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 green concrete like that. And then we are going to go ahead and come down by one right here. And I believe... Let's see. I forgot how many blocks, um, so from here, we are going to place one, two, three, four, this is kind of, um, above is going to be the staircase that leads up onto this platform that's going to be right here, 
And then we're gonna add four more. One, two, three, four. So eight in total. And then we're gonna go ahead and add one, two, lag. One, two, three, four, polished anonsite. Then we're gonna go ahead and we are going to skip over. Uh, we're going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And place one, one, two, three, four, polished anonsite. So there should be a nine block gap between this polished anonsite pillar and this pillar here. Now we're gonna go ahead and come back over to this side. And we are going to place, if I'm correct, or we're gonna add, starting from this block, we are going to add, actually, we're just gonna, okay, we're gonna actually just bring this all the way until it lines up with the polished anonsite. So right to there, and just bring it there. So there we go. So it should end up looking like this. And now we're gonna go ahead and raise this up. So we're gonna get the actual height of Monty Golf. So let's see, at least not, all right, so right here on this block, we're going to go ahead and add 19 extra blocks going upward. So from here, we're gonna add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So it should be exactly that height. It should be at least one block below. If it's two blocks below, that's even better, actually. As long as it's not right there. Otherwise, we would not have room for the floor of major size. So now that we have that height, we're just going to come all the way around and go all the way around all of these corners and just go ahead and line them up. And that's why we have a gap on all the corners so we can go ahead and line it up with all the green concrete. This just gets a uh, rough estimate of what the actual box of Monte Golf will look like. And there we go. Let's just go ahead and bring this across. Actually, you know what? We're not going to bring this across because uh, there is something different that is going across here so we're just going to leave this just how it is just like that so this is basically the sub entrance that will lead eventually to monte golf so let's go ahead and make the actual hallway that leads to kids cove and we will then make the outlines for kids cove so we're going to grab your bricks and let's see let's grab our red concrete for this just like this um so first of all, we're going to go ahead and come to this polished end site right here, and we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six bricks. We're then uh, going to place one more with the polished end site, so six bricks, just like this. We're then going to place seven bricks. Why am I so laggy? I really don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm lagging for some reason. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bricks. Another polished end site, seven bricks in the middle, and then we're going to place one. Whoops, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, polish in inside like that. Now we're not going to do the same thing on this side. Rather, we are just going to bring the bricks all the way across right to there, and then place one, two, three, four, polish in inside. But with our red concrete right at the at this block here, so following across, if you if you line up yourself with this polish in inside and go straight across, you're going to end up here. So we're actually going to go ahead. And from this block, we're going to skip one, two, on the third block, we're going to actually come across, if I cannot lag, we're going to come straight across, and it should be right here, dig out two blocks, and this will be your door. This is a level 10 door, it will, it is unopenable, and you will not, you're almost going to be able to open it, but there's going to be black concrete behind, and it will not lead anywhere. So that is basically that level 10 door. And now that we have the hallway, we're not going to get the height of the hallway, because it really does not matter all that much. But now we're going to go ahead and outline all of Kids Cove here. So let's go ahead and start now. And we're going to go ahead and grab our light blue concrete and our gray concrete and polished and in sight. First off, we're going to start come right down here. And from this polished and in sight right here, we're going to place eight light blue concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. And then right here, we're going to place one, two, three. Now, we did a little bit something, something a little bit wrong. This is actually supposed to be five blocks and not three. But since it's only a two block difference, I'm just gonna leave it, all right? Because it's not going to be all that perfect. 
Now we're going to skip over the door part and on this polished end in sight, we are going to go ahead and place 19 light blue concrete. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Then we're going to come out one more here and on this block, we're going to add 27 more light blue concrete. So it's going to be, it's going to be 28 light blue concrete in all. Starting from here, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Then we're going to go ahead and come one more. And we are going to place, starting from this block, we're going to place, we're going to add 16 extra. It's going to be 17 in all. So starting from here, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There we go. 17 blocks. Wait for those. Now we're going to go ahead and make the actual outline for the door. So we are going to go ahead and grab your gray concrete and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh wait, no. Sorry. One polish and in sight right there and then 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Polish and in sight. Then we're going to place... Actually, we're going to go ahead and we don't need to know. We just need to bring this all the way up until it's right there. Then bring your light blue concrete and it should be 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, C. It's a one block difference. I mean, we could... No, we can change that easily. All right, hold on. We're just gonna change. I mean, it's. I know it's a very small change and really not that big of a deal. But we're just gonna go ahead and bring it out one more block. So this whole length right here is actually going to be 20 blocks instead of 19. Wait, no, 29 blocks instead of 28. So one more block. Then we're gonna add 17 or add 16. It's gonna be 17 in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Then we're going to go ahead and place one Paul Shannon sight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, gray. Then Paul Shannon sight, and then just bring the light blue concrete right to there. So there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and get the height of Kids Cove, which actually is the exact same as Monte Golf. It is 19 blocks tall in total. So starting from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. What I meant, um, we're adding 19 in total. Starting from, uh, So from this block all the way to the top block, so that's 20 blocks in total. We just added 19 from the corner. And we're going to just bring this all the way to the back. Right to here. There we go. Then we're gonna bring this all the way to the front. There we go. And we're just gonna bring this right over here. But there is actually something real quick. Um, because there's not there's not going to be a wall here we're not going to go ahead and add this part here and that's the same thing for monte golf too we don't actually need to have this whole pillar or like this whole outline that's on this side of the wall because there's no actual wall here and it's just going to get in the way of a uh, path area that's going to be right here which actually is we're going to add this here once we're done outlining fast blast and roxy raceway or the sub entrances uh, other than that, that is all we have for Kids Cove. We'll, we'll, uh, the last thing we're going to do is the outlining for Chica's Bakery. So first of all, let's go ahead and move on to Faster Blast now. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and grab your... Let's see, or is it... Okay, it's Blue Terracotta. We're going to use Blue Terracotta j just for now. Um, do we... No, okay. We'll stick with Purple... Uh, sorry, Blue Terracotta for now. So you're going to go ahead and we, where is it? Fast West is here. Yeah. All right. So we're going to, first of all, do we have, wait, were we supposed to have and insight? I think we were. Hold on. Wait, we already have it. Um, just place two polish and insight on the side of the door that's right here. And on the end insight, we are actually, did I mess something up? No, I didn't. All right. We are going to go ahead and place eight 
uh, blue terracotta. So, actually, wait, or... Actually, we don't actually need to. We're not going to place any because we already have the wall that's going to be right here. So all we have to do is start from here and we're going to skip over 13 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And on the 14th block, we're going to place 8 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Just like that. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, polish and insight like this. Now we're going to come over to this side and we are going to actually skip, uh, from here we're going to skip, um, one, two, wait, uh, wait, we're going to skip over 13, just like the same on that side, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Then on the, on this block, on the 14th block, we're going to place 28 blue terracotta. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, I believe it's 28. Oh, wait a minute, no, it's a 32. So, it, sorry, not 28. So, 29, 30, 31, 32. 32 blocks of, per, of blue terracotta. Now, we're gonna come up or we're gonna come out right here, and from this block, we're going to add 35 more, so it's going to be 36 blue terracotta in total. So starting from here, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, did I? Okay, I lagged for a second, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, blue terracotta, and it should, 35, not 36. Now from here, we're going to go ahead, and we are going to, actually, you know what, we'll start from here. Um, we are going to skip 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hold on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, blue terracotta, and then just go ahead and connect this up, just like that. So this is where the hallway is going to be, connecting to the Roxy Raceway ent entrance. Now we're going to go ahead, and this is actually, we're going to add this up by 20 extra blocks, so starting from the bottom to the top, that's 21, we're just adding 20 extra. So I'm not going to add any here. I'm actually going to add some right behind, you know what, we'll start from the back. Let's go, 20 extra. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now that we're at the 20, we just bring this all the way across until it gets to this end, right here. There we go. Then we're going to go ahead and bring this all the way across to this end. Right to... Actually... Wait, no, we remember, we don't need a block on this side since it's going to get in the way of the path. So we do not need any of this on this side, just only on the other side. Bring this all the way across. And we'll bring it right here, so it should be... It should look, it should be directly, like, diagonally from this polished and inside pillar. And bring it up, there we go. So this is going to be Phaser Blast right here. We currently have Monty Golf, Kids Cove, Phaser Blast. Now we're going to go ahead and do the hallway here, and then we're going to go ahead and do Roxy Raceway. So go ahead and grab your bricks, your polished and insight, your red concrete, white and black concrete, and light gray concrete. So we're going to go ahead and add one, two, three, four bricks right here on this side. One polished shannon site right there for a small pillar. Then we're going to go ahead, actually, you know what? No, on this side. Uh, let's see. We are going to go ahead and add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And on the thirteenth, polished shannon site. So twelve blocks of bricks all in the middle. And then we're going to go ahead and add one, two, three, four. And then we're going to go ahead and add one, two, three, four, polished end site. There we go. Now we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing. And we are just going to actually, you know what? Let's start from here. 
we are going to go ahead and add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we're gonna add two red concrete for a door, and then just bring this all the way until it hits right there, and then four more polished end in sight, just like this. So there is that hallway. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab your white concrete, and we're gonna come down to this polished end in sight right here, and we're going to go ahead and add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine white concrete like that, or is it eight? Honestly, I can't even remember. I think it, I think it's eight. Is it eight? Actually, no, it's nine. Then we're gonna come over to this side here, and we're gonna go ahead and add right here. Uh, we're gonna add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven white concrete. Then we're gonna go ahead and come up one more block right here, and starting from this block, um, from this block, I think we're going to go ahead and add uh, 13 blocks. It's gonna be 14 in total. So from this block, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab your black concrete, and we're gonna come out one, we're gonna do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, if it loads in. Most likely not. There's only one way. Hold on. There we go. With so it's gonna it's gonna look something like this. This is supposed to be a like ring of tires that come go, that forms around one of the doors, which we're actually gonna make now. So starting from here, we are going to go. <coughs> we are going to go ahead and add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine black and white concrete, and then we're gonna do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two light gray in the middle, and we're gonna just add the wall around the back. Then we're gonna go ahead and add one, two, three, four. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and add 32 white concrete, or add 31, it's gonna be 32 in total. So from this block here, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Just like that, it's not exactly lined up. 33. If it can load in, thank you. Okay, you know what? Just line it up until it's the exact same as there. I think it's like, that's like 34 or something. Then we're just gonna go go ahead and bring this around all the way here until it just connects up right to there. Now we're gonna go ahead and dig out this spot here and add white concrete on these two sides just like this because it kind of turns into this gated off area. Um, now that we have that, let's go ahead and get the height, which actually, I believe, is it the, I think it's the same as, um, Fast Blast here, so starting from here, we're gonna go ahead and add 19 blocks of white concrete, so it's not, it's not exactly 20, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one block lower than Fast Blast, we're gonna go ahead and bring this all the way to the back, Oops, a bit too far. And connect this up, and then we're gonna go ahead and add it on this side here. There we go. And we're just gonna keep this side blank, actually. I think, yeah, just keep it blank like this. Um, but now we're gonna go ahead and get this little pathing done here that kind of You'll see what we do. So go ahead and grab your light gray concrete And if I believe so from this block here, or is it? This block here We are going to go ahead and come up kind of under one block. This is going to be the glass railing that we will add We're gonna add 28 blocks of this or 27. It's going to be 28 in all Starting from here, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. It should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It should be 4 blocks away, so add 2 more to it. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is going to leave some room for the stairs that we will eventually add. You can go ahead and grab your black stained glass panes. And just fill this in right here. Just like that. 
Now we're gonna, with your red concrete, we're gonna come to this side here. And bait, wait, ho ho okay, hold up. Something doesn't seem... Okay, so yes, there is a problem, unfortunately. Um... We, this, the, these four polished genocide have to be lined up with those four polished genocide. Not directly above each other, but at least in line with each other. Clearly, they are not. They're th three blocks apart. And there's really no other way to fix that by... No other way, we have to extend these doors. So, starting at this polished genocide, get rid of the rest of this. And the rest of this here. We are going to go ahead and add two more blocks, so this is 11 blocks in total, instead of 9. Then one polish and a site, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I guess they're going to have to be uneven. Once again, nothing is perfect. This, It's not going to be exactly perfect. I mean, no, no matter how hard we try, it's not going to be all perfect. Like, this is 11 blocks, this is 10 blocks, it's not supposed to be like that. There's really nothing else that we could have done. So, now that we have gotten that out of the way, we are going to start on this block here. And we are just going to bring this all the way across the red, using the red concrete, all the way right to there. And then extend it by 1, 2, 3, 4 more until it touches that white concrete right there. Then we're going to go ahead and we are going to need our bricks again. We're going to come right down to here. And I believe it is at the it is one more it's one block higher than the light gray concrete. It's the same height as the black stained glass. And we are going to go ahead and starting from right here, we're going to place one uh or okay, starting from here, we are going to go ahead and place 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9. Then we're gonna go ahead and come, come up and place one, and then two, just like that. Then I believe we place nine more. We come up on the third one right here. This is we so this is our first block. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight actually. All right, yeah, eight blocks of bricks. Then we're gonna go ahead and place one polished end in sight in a corner, just like this. We can go ahead and wrap this around with bricks. And then we're gonna go ahead and I believe we place nine black and white concrete. Um, starting from here, we place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we're gonna place one, two, three, four, polish and insight, just like this. Then we are going to go ahead and with our bricks, I believe it's no, it's this block here. We are going to go ahead and place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen bricks just like that then we're going to place one polished end inside here wrap it around with the bricks and we're going to do the same thing again with your black and white concrete one two three four five six seven eight nine and then one two three four polished end inside like this and then lastly we are going to go ahead and right here we are going to place one two three four four five six and right here, seven, we just place two blocks just like that, and just like that. And that is what it should end up looking like. You should end up having this shape. So this door here will lead into Roxy Raceway. This door here will lead into the Glamrock Beauty Salon. Eventually, when we get there. Um, but yeah, other than that, that is this whole side done. Now, we're going to go ahead and move over to here. And to wrap up this episode, we are going to go ahead and outline the, uh, we're going to go ahead and outline Chica's, Chica's, Chica's Bakery. So let's go ahead and start on that now. Alright, so one thing before we move on, as you can see, the, this pillar is not lined up with that one. And the same thing on this side. Just like on that side, but this is way less of a deal. All we have to do is just move this whole, these doors over by one block and is not adding any blocks or anything so what we have to do is just bring this over by one more block we can go ahead and get rid of some of these blocks because we're going to need this it's not gonna, it's not that big of a deal so do not worry about this one two three four five six seven eight 
9. Then polish and inside, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There we go. Now, once you have done that, these are exactly lined up. We did, These are the same blocks, 9 blocks of white and, blo white and black concrete, 9 blocks here. And the pillars are also lined up. And just go ahead and connect these up. Then, once you have done that, we are going to need our bricks along with our black stained glass. So, every block you see here, we need green concrete, light blue concrete, black stained glass pane, bricks, polished and site, red concrete, polished and site stairs, pink concrete, and regular glass. So, with your green concrete, we are going to come down over to here. And right here, we're going to come one block under. It should be directly lined up with that wall. We're going to play, we're going to add 23 extra blocks. It's going to be 24 in all. Starting from here, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. It should be 1, 2, 3, 4 blocks away from the wall, which is room for the stairs. Then just go ahead and add your black stained glass panes on top of the green concrete. And there we go. Now with your light blue concrete, we're going to do the same thing on this side. Except we're going to bring it all the way to that wall, so we, all the way to this wall over here, so we don't have to worry about any blocks, it should just connect just like that. Now, with your bricks, we are going to go ahead and come over to this side here, one block above this blue concrete, nine bricks, so starting from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need this all right there we go nine and then we're gonna we're gonna place two more and two polish and insight there or four polish and insight if you would like to make it more easier so nine blocks of bricks just like that and actually in the middle we are going to place we need our gray concrete for this we are going to place one two three four five gray concrete in the middle just like this wait no four actually so three bricks four gray concrete and two bricks here then we are going to go ahead and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 bricks, along with 4 polished and insight in the corner, if this can actually, there we go, with 4 polished and insight in the corner. And then we are going to go ahead and we are going to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 bricks, along with 4 more polished and insight, just like that. Then we are going to go ahead and this is going to be quite a lot here. 17 bricks so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 4 polished and inside just like this then we're going to place one brick here and we're going to place two upwards like this and right here we're going to place one two three polished and inside stairs and then starting from here we are going to place 10 more 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 I believe, and then four polished and inside just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and stop right there, and we're gonna come over to this side here and start making our way here. That way we can line up the stairs. So let's come down over to here. We are going to go ahead and place uh, one block above, or where the black stained glass is, one, two, three bricks. We're then gonna come down and place one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now from this seventh block, we are going to go ahead and place one, two, three more, so it should be four blocks in total. Then we're going to go ahead and place one, two up, and the polished andesite stairs, which should directly line up right there. So this is what it should look like. Then once you have that, we are going to go ahead and I believe we are going to place with our bricks, we're going to place one, two, three, four, four. Ugh. Sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the same over there, and then 4 polished and insight. So it should be lined up just like that. And then we're going to do um, not the exact same. So right here, we are going to go ahead and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I believe it's 11. And then 1, 2, 3, 4 polished and insight. Then the last set of bricks, we are going to go ahead and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then only two polished and inside, just like that. Then we're just going to go ahead and copy base, actually, you know what? Let's do this door right here. With your pink concrete, we're going to place one pink concrete here, 
And then, we are going to need black and white concrete this time. So we can get rid of these two, we don't need that. White, or black and white. And then, we are going to go ahead, and we're going to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then, one pink concrete on the end. Need this to load in, there we go. And then, we're going to do the same thing. Um, 1, 2, Paul Shannon's site, like this. And with our bricks, we're just going to line this up the exact same on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4. Just line it up until it connects. There we go. Alright, now this is the actual main hallway that will lead to Chica's Bakery. Which we are actually going to move on to it now. So, on the back side, we are going to go ahead and place 1, 2, Polish and Insight. Same thing. Actually, you know what? We're going to keep it on 1 instead of 2. Same thing here. 1, Polish and Insight. And with your pink concrete, we are going to go ahead and place 1, 2, 3. Same thing on this side. 1, 2, 3. Like that. And actually, we're going to come down and place 4. Like this. Same thing on this side. Come down. That's the 4th. So, 1, 2, 3. Down 1. 1, 2, 3. Down 1. Just like that. Then, we are going to go ahead and adding from this block, um, adding from this block, we're going to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, I believe seven blocks yeah so then we are actually um, going to come up and place one diagonally just like this we're then going to go ahead and add one two okay i need this to load in i really do not like this glitch if it's a glitch then we're going to place one two and we're going to repeat that six more times so seven in total so this is one two three four five six seven just like that then we're going to go ahead and place one two three diagonally like that then we're gonna go ahead and come down and place one two one two one just like that then once you're done we're gonna come down one more and place one two three four five six seven eight pink concrete just like this get this to actually load in there we go then we're gonna go ahead and with your gray concrete we're gonna go ahead and place one two three and then one Paul Shannon site like that. Then we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three gray. Two glass, one pink, two, two glass, and under, two red for a double door. Then we're going to place two glass, one pink, two glass, one, two, three gray concrete, and one Paul Shannon site. Then we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three gr gray concrete, and then we're going to come out. And we are going to place 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 1 polish and insight there. Then we're going to go ahead and place, this can load in, there we go. Then we're going to go ahead and place 1, 2, 3, 4, gray concrete, 1 polish and insight. Then we're going to go ahead and place 1, 2, 3, 1 red for a door, and then 1, 2, and then one, two, just like that. So it should it should look like this. Then we're gonna, gonna place one pink, skip two, place one pink, like that, Oop. like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and place one, two, one red, and then one, two, three, with one polished in insight. Then we're gonna go ahead and place, where, okay. Then we're gonna place one, two, three, gray, and now, we're going to need our yellow concrete. So go ahead and grab your yellow concrete. I'm still going to need... We're, we are still going to need bricks. There we go. Now with your yellow concrete, we're going to start right here from this corner. And then we're going to go ahead and add 10 yellow concrete. So 11 in all, starting from here. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now with your pink concrete, we're going to go ahead right here. We're going to add 43 pink concrete, so it's going to be 44 in all. Starting from here, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. There we go. That is 44 pink concrete all the way from that end to this end. It does get a little close to here, but that's fine. We don't need to worry about that because it's not even accessible. 
Um, but then, we're gonna go ahead, we are going to need our cyan concrete this time. So grab your cyan concrete. And from this corner, we're gonna go ahead and place one, two, three, four, I believe, or no, one, five. Then we're gonna place one, two, three, four, cyan concrete like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, pink concrete. And then four polished inensite. Then we're gonna go ahead and we are going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pink concrete. Four more polished inensite, just like that. And then we are going to go ahead and we are going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, I believe, 16, and then 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, there we go, so it's directly lined up where that block is, Other, um, and there we go, now we have the hole outside of the Chica Bay, outside of the bakery, now we're just going to go ahead and outline the inside of the bakery, then this whole entire episode will be all complete. So let's go ahead, we're going to need our grey concrete, and let's also go ahead and grab our uh, calcite. We're going to need calcite for this. So, on the inside, let's see. I believe it's right... Okay, so since there, the outside wall is going to look like this, the inside wall is going to be... The inside wall is going to end up looking like this. So we're going to go ahead and add another layer of walls. So first of all, Right here, we are going to go ahead and add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we are going to need light blue concrete too. Then we're going to go ahead and add light blue concrete. We're going to put a gray block behind it. Then we're going to go ahead and with our calcite, we are going to place 1, 2, 3. Line up your pink concrete just like that. Same thing here. And your calcite right there, so it should look like that. Then with your gray concrete, we're going to go ahead and place 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're also going to need stone as well. Place 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 stone, just like that. And also 1 magenta concrete we will need. Magenta concrete, there we go. 1 magenta concrete, so it looks just like that. Then from, the, from, this, from this 2 stone, we're going to go ahead and place... One, two, one, two, three, skip two, and then place three more, just like that. And now on the inside, we are going to go ahead and place uh, one, two, three, and then we're just going to bring this around so it lines up just like that. So three, there should be three blocks, three block space here, one block space here, three blocks wide on the inside. It should look something just like this. Now with your pink concrete, we're going to go ahead and from this fourth block right- Oh, lag. Ah. Then from this block right here, we're going to place one block here of pink. We're going to skip over two blocks and place one more. Now we're going to go ahead and grab your light blue concrete and place one here. We are then going to place one, two, three, four. Then we're going to go ahead and we are going to place one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five down, or one, two, three, four. So it should look like this. This is the conveyor belt that will be going around this giant cupcake that we will have in the middle eventually. Now on this block here, we're gonna go ahead and place one, two, three blocks, one stone right here. Then go ahead. You can bring your gray concrete around the side. We are then going to place one, two, three gray, and have another stone pillar here, or no, you know, what, four stone, just like that. Then with your gray concrete, we are going to place um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then four stone like that. Then um, does it just line up? Yes, it should. All right, so now just go ahead and bring this right to there. So it should end up looking like this. This is the inside. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and outline the bathrooms, or just get like the inside of the bathrooms, and then just outline the kitchen that's in the back here. Then, we will be fully comp fully finished with this episode. Alright, so now, let's see. We just need our... Actually, we just need our red concrete and gray concrete. So, we're just going to go ahead and place red concrete along the sides here. One, two, three, one, two, three, just like that. Then, we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three, and 
one, two, three. It's definitely a small bathroom, but this is really the shape you should have for the male bathroom here. Now for the female bathroom, we're gonna go ahead and grab your, we actually already have, pink concrete, it's the exact same thing. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and one, two. Just like that, I think that's the same. One, two, three. And let's actually, since we don't have this gray block here, if we were to add red concrete here, this would be a two wide bathroom. Like, we can't, it's not possible for a two wide bathroom. So that's why we have that there. But since we have room here, we're just gonna have the back in pink concrete. This is what the female bathroom should end up looking like. And the other bathroom, this is what, that's what that should look like. Now, for the final part, the kitchen area. All we are going to need now is your calcite. So we are gonna go ahead and right here, we're gonna place one block here. So this is the first block. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna start right here. And from here, we are going to place, uh, we're gonna add 12 more. It's going to be 13 blocks in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then we're gonna come around the corner. And from this block, we're gonna add 17 blocks. It will be 18 blocks in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then we're gonna actually go ahead and grab your white terracotta. Place one white terracotta right here. Bring the white, cal bring the calcite around. Then we're gonna place one, one, two, three. Have one, uh, one white, white terracotta. Then we're gonna place one red concrete for a door. And then another white terracotta. And then one, two, three calcite. And that right up, white terracotta there. And then just bring your calcite back to there. Same thing here. Actually, you know what? Because uh, the conveyor belt is here, we're gonna go ahead and place two here. We're then gonna add one, two, one, two, and connect this up just like that. And there we go. Now, actually, real quick, we've got to do this bathroom here. So, also with your terracotta, we are going to place one, two, three calcite like that. We are then going to place one, two, three, four calcite on the side. Then on on this side, we're only we're just going to add this up until it lines up like that, and then bring this around the back. So this is what this bathroom should look like on in the kitchen. And then after that. I believe we have the whole Chica Bakery. We have all of on the outside of it. We have the whole bakery on the inside. The hallway, we have the Monte Golf sub entrance, Kids Cove, the Kids Cove area over here. We have fat, fat, the sub entrance to Fast Blast and Roxy Raceway, and this little area here. I think we have now finished all of part two of the main atrium. It was This was definitely a much easier episode because the main, we basically did the main atrium in the previous episode. Now, we have the all, all the outlining for the atrium complete. Well, that was, all, that was the final episode of all of my Security Reach tutorials. Like I said in the very beginning of the video, if you guys don't really believe me, you're gonna have to, because I'm serious about this. This is the final episode. But there is plenty of reasons on why I am stopping, and I'm gonna save most of them for my upcoming video. That will be out in a couple of days from now. And to be honest, I am a bit sad that I am stopping, because I've been doing these videos for six months now. I'm not saying I'm stopping videos forever, alright? I'm not. And it's been an amazing journey making these, making these tutorials. And I hope that you guys enjoy building the Pizzaplex part of it, at least. Now, just because I'm stopping tutorials doesn't mean I won't come back and continue with them. If a location gets enough requests, I may make a video on it, which of course requires the atrium, which is the largest place in the Pizzaplex, which we only st which we stopped, like, not even halfway through. Which, also, I, I know some of you, I'm sure, have many questions, and feel free to ask me as much as you would like in the comments, or in our Discord server, which the link for that is in the description. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed these videos, and I will have more to explain in the next one. But goodbye for now, and thank you for everyone who has followed along with these tutorials. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. See ya.